Hi, I'm Angel Cabrera, president of Georgia Tech, and I am so pleased to welcome you to this virtual tour of Georgia Tech's Eco Commons. First, imagine this part of our 2006 landscape master plan. The Eco Commons are an expansive 80 acre network of sites that include Tech Green, Couch Park, and the eight acre site we will tour over the next few minutes. Designed to enhance the living, working, and learning environment while helping the Institute achieve our sustainability goals, the Eco Commons provide universal access for the entire Georgia Tech community and are a living laboratory for students, faculty, and researchers alike. Notably, the eight acre section we're about to see borders the Candida Building for innovative, sustainable design providing a natural counterpart to the visionary approach to creating resilient, highly efficient, and environmentally friendly buildings. The hammock area is sure to become a quick favorite for our visitors, our students, me too. This area encourages health and wellness and invites all guests to enjoy nature, rest, and relaxation. Here, members of the campus community can take a break from study and work in a quiet green oasis, a welcome respite right in the middle of the city. The adjacent meadow, seeded in native grasses and perennials will change with the seasons and require very little maintenance, just mowing once or twice a year. The meadow, like most elements of the Eco Commons, is both practical and beautiful. It helps capture rain, allowing it to soak into the ground slowly. Georgia Tech's integration of the arts is carried through as part of the Eco Commons. This artwork by Patrick Daugherty features locally sourced materials collected from Serenby, a community focused on sustainable living in harmony with nature in Chattahoochee Hills, Georgia. The large scale art installation was created with the assistance of volunteers, including many students. The saplings, Mostly willows were driven into the ground and twisted to create evocative shapes suggesting empty houses, abandoned cathedrals, and the ephemeral nature of life. The installation is temporary and will biodegrade over two years. As you can see, we are standing at the top of a hill looking down on the learning platform. Three large place slides will eventually be installed so students and visitors alike can slide down the hill. This entire eight acre site is a living laboratory, a place for users to interact with and understand natural ecological processes. The site was designed to reflect the characteristics and typical plant species of Georgia's Piedmont region. With time, this permanent open space on Tech's campus will also provide greater biodiversity of plant and animal species, increased absorption of stormwater, and increased sequestration of carbon. Data collected by sensors across the entire site will offer researchers and students continuous opportunities for collecting and studying ecological data, including air temperature, humidity, soil moisture, water depth and pressure, wind and rain amounts, and outdoor CO2 data. Additionally, the learning platform overlooks a wetland area. The platform is a vantage point for observing how water can be managed using natural systems. We now stand on the site of the former Pickrick restaurant. On July 3rd, 1964, three courageous black students from the Interdenominational Theological Seminary 
were forcibly removed after attempting to integrate the restaurant. Refusing to obey the new Civil Rights Act signed by President Lyndon Johnson just the day before, the owner and several patrons chased the students away. Attorney Constance Baker Motley filed the first federal lawsuit on behalf of the students. George Willis Jr., Woodrow T. Lewis, and Albert Lee Don soon after. A three-judge panel ruled against Pickrick's owner. Rather than integrate, he closed the restaurant in February 1965. We have marked off the footprint of the Pickrick restaurant to bear witness and to honor the brave students who stood up against the forces of inequality and oppression. In the northwest corner of this section, a dark gray concrete wall intentionally broken into sections requires visitors to pass through its gaps to enter the former restaurant site. The wall is situated in a grove of top load trees, which are both native to the southeast and attractive to honeybees. The site features several design elements, all intentionally grouped in threes, including rising columns of set from the wall, wide wooden benches, and long leaf pines. The three longleaf pines are the only ones of their kind on the site. These three evergreens will grow tall and straight and are a living tribute to Albert Lee Dunn, Woodrow T. Lewis, and George Willis Jr. As part of our strategic plan, the Eco Commons will help the Institute realize our sustainability goals and perform valuable ecological work, including storm water management, air quality and soil improvement, and an expansion of our tree canopy. Perhaps the most important of these ecological functions is the role this performance landscape plays in water management. Georgia Tech's master plan and the accompanying landscape master plan call for water management practices that will reduce by 50% the amount of campus stormwater that flows into the city's combined sanitary and stormwater sewer systems. This will help the city reduce overall stormwater in its system, which helps keep the Chattahoochee River and its feeder streams clean. This eight acre site was engineered to provide multiple means, systems and sensors for collecting and managing water. Porous concrete filters rainwater and compacted slate chips in walkways allow rainwater to permeate the soil. An open meadow area offers natural absorption of rainfall while large infiltration cells capture water using a system of pipes to move water to locations for reuse. Swales or engineered berms are in place to both slow down and redirect water. Truly, this important ecological work is a great testament to Georgia Tech's ongoing commitment to sustainability in the development and management of our campus. I thank you for joining me as part of this virtual tour of Georgia Tech's Eco Commons. The next time you are on campus, I do hope you will visit and experience this beautiful piece of our campus for yourself.